This is an overview of our exhaust fan flow meter. It is designed to give you quick, accurate measurements of flow through exhaust fans. The range is from 10 to 24 CFM. And the gasket on the top of the box makes a tight seal across uh, against the ceiling. And it has three calibrated openings to give you accurate readings over the full range. The door position is determined by snap pins and you can adjust the openings by pushing in that snap pin and sliding the door across till it snaps in the next location. And I would recommend starting at the E2 setting because many exhaust fans will fall in that 21 to 59 range and you can move up to door position one for, for higher flows or door position three, the smallest uh, opening for smaller flows. Uh, it's got a Velcro handle that will attach to it, and you can buy an optional. We don't provide them or sell them, but you can use a broom handle or a painter's pole, adjustable painter's pole, uh, to, to extend the, the length. You'll set up the DG1000 by holding down the power button until the light uh, comes on, and when the home screen appears, you'll touch the gauge app, and once the gauge app appears, you'll, you'll touch the uh, mode section and channel B settings page will come up and the channel B settings, the first tab is mode and you'll choose under mode, you'll choose flow. The next tab over is device and the device you'll choose exhaust fan meter. The next tab over is configuration and you'll choose either E1, 2, or 3, depending on what you have your settings set to. There are three connection options. The first one is just simply measuring a pressure and using the chart on the side of the box to convert that pressure to flow. So you're just connecting it to, to the input on channel A, putting the fan over the exhaust fan, turning the exhaust fan on, and getting a pressure reading. Then you'll use the chart, you'll follow down you know, you look at what your reading was, follow down the pressure column, and then across to, uh, in this case, E2. Um, so pressure of 5.8 is equivalent to 50 CFM. Another option is to, to directly measure flow by connecting the tube to the input on channel B. And with the gauge set to flow and the device set to exhaust fan flow meter and the configuration set to E2, you'll get a reading of 50 CFM. The third option is the one I, I like the best. I left the best, best to last. Um, I like the idea of using a T connection and connecting to both channel A and B. And the advantage to that is the acceptable box pressure is between one and eight. So you'll be able to see right away that you're within the range you need to be and, and it'll display flow at the same time. So it'll display both the pressure and the flow. For additional information, if you have additional questions, we did an hour-long webinar on, on measuring exhaust fan flows, including uh, kitchen fans, and um, you can find that at our website, energyconservatory.com.